五月十日，总统拜登将近期通胀飙升归咎于新冠疫情和俄乌冲突。他同时对共和党议程进行了尖锐抨击。在拜登发表讲话之际，美国汽车协会十日报告称，美国平均油价已触及每加仑四点三七元的纪录高位。The first cause of inflation is a once-in-a-century pandemic. Not only did it shut down our global economy, it threw the supply chains and demand completely out of whack. Especially in countries where more effective recovery responses uh, uh, weren't available, especially in those sectors that rely on semiconductors, these supply challenges have been further、uh, hampered、uh, by、uh, the onset of Delta and Omicron viruses. And you've all seen it. You've all felt it. And this year we have a second cause, a second cause, Mr. Putin's war in Ukraine. You saw, we saw in March that 60% of inflation that month was due to price increases at the pump for gasoline. Putin's war has raised food prices as well. 通胀居高不下是民主党在2022年中期选举前面临的最大问题之一。共和党人就此抨击拜登的国内议程，而白宫则将问题归咎于供应链问题、持续的新冠疫情和俄罗斯入侵乌克兰。拜登在十日的讲话中提及了他的政府已采取的降低物价措施，包括历史性的释放战略石油储备，以抵消飙升的天然气价格。与此同时，拜登借此机会继续猛烈抨击共和党，指责该党没有解决通胀问题的真正计划。My plan attacks inflation and grows the economy by lowering costs for working families, giving workers well-deserved raises. Reducing the deficit by historic levels and making big corporations and the very wealthiest Americans pay their fair share. The other path is the ultra MAGA plan put forward by congressional Republicans to raise taxes on working families, lower the income of American workers, threaten sacred programs Americans count on like Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. <coughs> And give break after break to big corporations and billionaires, just like they did the last time they were in power, when their top priority was the reckless two trillion dollar tax cut, going majority of that going to the very wealthiest Americans, which ballooned the deficit, and not a penny of it was paid for. Look, I know you got to be frustrated. I know. 拜登特别提及了共和党国会参议员斯科特的一项提案，试图让所有美国人都缴纳一定的个人所得税。这意味着将对目前收入过低而不需要缴纳联邦所得税的美国人增税。拜登批评斯科特的计划将伤害消防员和教师等一线员工。然而，该提议并未得到共和党领导人的支持。国会参议院少数党领袖麦康奈尔最近表示，如果共和党在中期选举过后夺回对参议院的控制权，多数党议程将不包括对一半的美国人增税，在五年内取消社会保障和医疗健保的提案。五月十一日，劳工统计局将公布备受关注的消费者物价指数 （CPI）。今年三月 ，CPI 较上年同期飙升百分之八点五，为四十年来最大的年度增幅。